Good afternoon and welcome to a rainy day in Ohio. This is the 26th of May and this is Wednesday and this is Dreamers Kids. Uh, they're a week old today and I have not put them on the internet until today. Um, hopefully I'll get them on today. So you may see them on the 27th, but I'm gonna, my goal is for today. Uh, she's got four girls and one boy and these are, these are mid-sized schnauzers. These are not minis. Um, they are going to be, mom is about 28 to 30 pounds. The mom's name is Dreamer. This is her last litter, and we are retiring her in 1st of August. Uh, once these guys are weaned, she'll go to a new home and be someone's lap baby. So um, we were debating whether we were keeping puppies from this litter, and I've decided that I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to let them all go because I've got, I've got puppies from her last litter, so I've just decided I'm going to go with what I've got for schnauzers and um, not keep one of these guys. So there's four girls and one boy, and the boy is the, the uh, Merle party, and he is a Merle. Uh, he looks like he's going to be a blue Merle. At first I thought he was going to be chocolate. Here, Bound, you're not going to stay where I put you, are you? says, nope, I'm coming with them off the table. So um, I'm gonna microchip them to, well, they are microchip. The male is 8230 is his microchip number. And I thought he was a chocolate in the beginning, but if you look at this side of his head, he's turning very blue. His nose has got a couple dark spots on it, so I think it's gonna turn black. Most of the time with the party Merle, their noses are pink. Doesn't matter if it's, um, and even some of our regular chocolate and white parties and black and white parties. Their noses are pink until they start to get a couple weeks under their belt and then they usually turn colors. Uh, he's got a merle spot on his back and this one does look blue. This one, it looked chocolate two days ago and it's turning more blue. So I am 99% sure this is a, a blue merle. Um, he's doing really good. He's all white on his undercarriage. Tail and dew claws are finished. I do not crop ears. So if you're interested in one of these schnauzers, Please arrange that with your own vet. Uh, they will be spayed and neutered before they go home by laser. And so that'll be finished for you. We also do the microchipping so that you don't have to pay for that. And most of the time that runs 75 to 90 bucks from your vet. So that's done here um, because we can buy them economically because you, uh, I buy them in such large bulk. So it's not, and I think I pay the same thing the vets do, but there's a huge markup for microchips. Um, so what I'm gonna do is give you some current weights on these guys and uh, let you see what they weigh today after it zeroes out. Okay, so like I said, this is the only male in the litter and I, I do have a family that's gonna take him, so he is sold. No one else has seen the other ones. Uh, but they were waiting on a male, and he's the only little guy in this litter. All right, so he is 15.4 ounces as of today. He's almost a pound. So when I say these are going to be mid-size and not miniature, um, I have last, last year's puppies that I kept two out of the litter. My girlfriend kept two, and I sold a tiny one that was in the litter. I haven't called the people to find out what theirs ended up weighing, but my female weighs 28 pounds, and the male I kept weighs about 26. And I know Susan's two dogs, she's got one that's at 28 pound weight in also, and she's got one that's about 24 to 25 pounds. So you're looking at a mid-sized schnauzer, half the size of a standard, but um, bigger than a mini. So these are not gonna be little tiny minis. So just make sure you understand that um, and you don't get it home and think you're gonna have a 15 pound schnauzer because it's not gonna happen. All right, so the next one in here is the Ying Yang face and her microchip number is 8229. There's a big yawn. Uh, she's got a perfect Ying Yang face, meaning one side's black, one side's Merle spotted. Um, she's gorgeous. She's got really nice defined Merle markings. She's got a white splash of white on her neck and if I roll her around this way, she's got a big white chest and white on her front tips on her paws. She's got white under her neck and a white goatee. Are you seeping? Her nose is turning black. It was born pretty much pink. 
and um, she's got white on these back toes. Her tail and dew claws were done, so that's finished, but she's got great color. Great, great color. Oh, it turned off. At least it's working today. It wasn't working for us the other day. About another seven days and their eyes will open. And she is also, oh no, she's 14.6. I thought she was gonna be the same as this male. All right, so the black female in this litter, right now I think is the biggest out of the litter. Um, she's gonna take after her mama. She's got white on her back toes. She's got big white chest. Little tiny bit of white hairs, not even enough. I don't think you'll ever see them on her chin, but when I hold her down this way and look down, oh, I know I touched those hairs. I can see a little tiny bit of white, but when I look at them straight on like you are, I don't know if I can turn her sideways if you can see those white hairs or not. All these guys still have their ears closed. They're completely sealed shut. Same as their eyes. They'll open up the same time as their eyes do. So she's nice and shiny. They'll get their waves and their curls um, a little bit later down the road. And I shouldn't say curls. I should say, I'm so used to snoodles. Sorry. These guys are going to be mega coated. If you take a look at mom, mom has a massive, massive mega coat. And so does dad. Uh, let me put him in here. One pound, 1.8 ounce. So yeah, she's the biggest in the litter. I think her sister over here is gonna follow close. All right, this is the other chocolate Merle. Uh, she says, I'm sleeping. Oh my goodness sake, hide your face. So there's a belly look. She's got a big white belly. She's got white under her chin. She's got white on these back toes a little bit. Don't you go forward anymore. And she's got white front feet. In fact, this paw has pink spots. This paw has black pad because this one's got the white on the foot. That's cute. Uh, she's got great color down her back. Lots and lots of color. And she's got lots of color on her face and her nose is turning brown. So, and if you, I'll tell you, I know a lot of people don't know why I say this is a, a this one's not gonna be a blue Merle or chocolate Merle, I should have told you that. So if you take a look at them, there's two different colors of coats here. And if you take a look at their noses, there's two different colors of noses. The one on this side is gonna be a blue Merle. The one on this side is gonna be a chocolate Merle. So she's got one of each, chocolate and a blue. Blue Merles always have black nose. Chocolates always have a brown nose. And they will have greener hazel eyes they have the possibility, the Merles do, of having a blue eye, but uh, I wouldn't count the bank on it. I don't know when Dreamers ever had a blue-eyed puppy. I know her last letter didn't have blue eyes. All right, let's see. Oh, one pound, 1.8. She's as big as that female. So you two are the same. It's just you look bigger because you're black. This one, I think, weighs just about the same, too. Um, she's got huge white tuxedo chest, white on her chin. She's got white on her little toes. And she's got, she's changing colors. She was really dark when she was born, but I think she's gonna turn salt and pepper under here. What do you think? Are you gonna turn salt and pepper? It'll be interesting, won't it? She's got a little bit of white goatee on her and her nose is almost completely black. It's got a little bit of pink on the bottom yet to go, but that shouldn't take very long. But she will turn colors all the way around, so she'll probably end up salt and pepper. All right, sweetie. So she is one pound, 1.4. So, yeah, these two are the smallest in the litter. These three are the biggest. So that'll kind of give you an idea. And I also should have gone back and told you. The Chocolate Merle's microchip is 82.31. The Black Female's microchip is 82.34. And the salt and pepper is questionable whether it's going to be salt and pepper, but I think it will, is 8262. So those will be on their pictures as soon as I take them. So once we get their video done today, we're going to go in and take their photos. So if you have any questions about the four girls, please give me a call. Um, don't email me or you'll never get one because I'm not able to get on the email hardly at all right now. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. They're one week old today. Uh, we're going to schedule them in for spay and neuters. I will have that on the website also under the photo at the top, and I hope you have a great day.